everyone welcome to my youtube channel so for today's video i really want to do a get ready with me and just chat a little bit and i'll show you some favorites of mine um that i have been using in terms of uh, makeup so if you guys are interesting let's keep watching so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate it um if you like this video click a thumbs up and also uh if you want to follow me on my social media i have two instagram accounts i will link it down below so you guys can check them out so let's get started so now i zoom you in like a lot so you guys can see my face and i look naked but i'm not i have like a tube dress <laughs> so yes uh, today I just prepped my skin <clears throat> and I didn't put some primer on just I just put my usual moisturizer so just started with the primer I'm gonna use also one of my all times favorite that I still love a lot this one is the first Savoy rose gold elixir is 24 carats gold infused beauty oil and it looks like this I don't know if the camera can zoom in and focus so you guys can see it. Um, I bought this a long time ago and at the beginning I didn't like it because, uh, not because of the oil, the oil is amazing, but the smell. Like a lot of people love this smell, it's like, um, I think it's like orangey kind of smell and I'm not the biggest fan of this type of smell. It's the same with the Bobbi Brown, the primer one, it's the same kind of smell, but a lot of people love that. So that's why I didn't use it that much, but now I took it back into my routine and I love it a lot because the oil is amazing and as a primer it really it really makes your um, skin look flawless glowy and also it blends so good with the foundation and with the concealer so I do recommend this the smell is not the best but yeah we have to accept that there is like this <laughs> I don't know how the other product from first Sally all if they have the same smell because I never tried them I just tried this one because I love the fact that it has 25 carats gold so let's see if I can do it so it looks like this and you see inside you have really actual gold flakes you see it? I already dropped yeah I dropped typical me I have a mirror here that's why I'm checking on this side so you just so you know what I'm doing otherwise I look ridiculous right so let's put some oil I usually do like this and this and this perfect So, what I want to tell you guys, oh, the smell is not good. It's like, it really smells like orange and, yeah, I don't know, but it's so good. It felt so good on the skin. The skin, it's so smooth afterwards. And I always put it on the neck as well. This is also really important. Don't forget your neck. So the skin, we have prepped the skin, so now we're going in with the foundation. And now I have been using drugstore foundation and concealer. You guys know for the longest time I have been wearing uh, NARS, uh, NARS foundation and also Huda Beauty foundation. But uh, now I wanted to try drugstore because there are a lot of good ones and not a lot of people talk about them. And now I'm using a new drugstore one and let me take it. So you guys can see it. This one is a new one, the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Fresh Wear Foundation. And it looks like this. This one is one of the newest from L'Oreal. And a lot of people talk about <coughs> this foundation. It's very good. It's a medium coverage. And the color that I'm using, it's a little bit light for my skin. I have a little bit of self tan. But this one is the number 135 um, Radiant Vanilla. So it's a little bit light for my skin, but yeah. Perfect. Um, so what I've been doing the past month, um, we had Eastern. And in Eastern, I went with my husband to Italy to meet my family, uh, like my mom, because my dad lives in south of Italy and he couldn't come um, so I just went to visit my mom and it was such a good good time it was like 
um, we really took time to just enjoy ourselves together. We went to the center also to a little bit of shopping and oh, I just love so much Milan. It's part of my heart because I grew up there and until I was 19 years old I've been living there. So it's my second home actually. Like I love uh, my city so much and I'm so proud of being uh, from Milan. So every time I have like possibilities to go, I go. So the camera died, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just died and I think it will die again. But yeah, I did the foundation and as you can see, it's like medium coverage. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful foundation for the price that it has. Uh, then when it comes to, uh, when it comes to concealer, I do have another one from drugstore one, the um, infallible one. And this one exactly is the infallible more than concealer from L'Oreal. There's also the new one that it come with. And the color is uh, uh, Cashew 329. And I think it's a dupe for the tape concealer. The only thing I don't like about this concealer is that you do have to go in like a lot of time because you don't get a lot of product um, when you take it out from the tube. So usually I have to do one layer, but then I need another one like this. And then I have to go in again to do the other eye. Uh, and with the Tarte, you do have a lot of product on the brush. Um, so you just have to go in just once. This is the only thing that bothers me. Otherwise, it's really good and it performs really good, especially under the eye area. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was talking to you guys about um, my Eastern um, festivities. I was with my family. It was so good to be there. And otherwise, I have been doing much. I have been working a lot at work. Um, now I'm just doing another type of um, speciality. I'm doing um, um, like pain nurse and in June I will attend school to do like a, um, I will attend school um, to study uh, for pain nursing and I'm so happy because it's so fun to do something else and try something new. I think the camera is not that... No, it's better. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy uh, to do something else. Like I'm still working in the um, recovery room, but I work more in the pain nurse um, nursing job. That means that I have to uh, go around the hospital, um, do visitation, see how the patients are with the pain after the operation. So it's very, very interesting and you work a lot of times alone, you have to make decisions alone, um, you have the doctor if you need anything, but usually the, these doctors are um, away very uh, often because of um, when they have to rescue someone. Um, so I do have a lot of uh, responsibilities and that's exactly um, what I work for, what makes me happy. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited to start in school, but also a little bit scared because uh, German is not my uh, main language. Um, so of course I'm really scared, but at the same time I have been living here now for two, two and a half years. So now I can speak German, I do understand it, I do uh, write it pretty good. So yeah, I hope it will get good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really excited. Yeah, otherwise I don't have so much more going on and I don't have any plans. Like I did, I wanted, um, we planned, me and my husband to go to Barcelona for the weekend because he had to work there. He flew today, this morning, and uh, I have night shift now until Friday morning. And then we thought on Friday, I can just take the fly and go to Barcelona. But my best friend, her daughter uh, is turning one years old on Saturday. So I do prefer to visit my friend and her beautiful, beautiful daughter. I don't really care about Barcelona. There are other weekends we can go to Barcelona. But my beautiful Elena turns one just one time in her lifetime. So, so happy. So that's what I'm doing in the weekend. I have three days off. So I'm just gonna 
uh, attend the birthday of Elena and then on Sunday, I don't know, we just take it slow. I think the weather would not be that good. Uh, today is very gray. Yesterday was so beautiful. We had like 20 degrees and today is like gray. There are clouds everywhere. It's very sad. So here you see the concealer. How beautiful is this? And now I think we will go in with the um, powder. And the powder that I'm using that I love, it's the Veil um, Powder, Translucent Setting Powder from Hourglass. It's this one. This one is so beautiful, so thin. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful powder. The only thing I don't like is the applicator. You see that everything turns into here and it's very difficult to go in with the beauty blender. So these I don't like that much. But yeah, what we should do. And then I just put it into my under eye area. You see it? You see it also? Yeah. Okay, it turns out good. Hopefully. <laughs> So, and just on the chin, a little bit here up, yeah, perfect. And also here on the side. So good. Now I'm just gonna do the, the eyebrows, and the eyebrows I'm not that good at, but yeah, well, we will try it. Um, yeah, otherwise, I don't know, I don't have a lot to say, like, I don't have a lot of plans, mm, yeah, and of course, now for the brow, I do have the pomade from Anastasia in uh, dark brown, uh, yeah, I'm really like thinking of doing like a Fashion Nova haul. Um, Fashion Nova is one of my favorite retailers when it comes to clothes, like inexpensive clothes and street um, street clothing. Um, and I'm thinking maybe you want to see a Fashion Nova haul. That will make me really happy. Like link it down, like comment down below if you want to have a Fashion Nova haul because I was thinking of um, ordering some stuff there and it would be really cool to do a haul. Um, I love Fashion Nova so much. It's incredible. They have a ton of stuff. ton of stuff. And it's like everything looks so good. It's such a good quality. And yeah, link down below if you want to see that, then I will do that because I think it's so cool. So I think I'm done with my brows. I try not to do so much on them because then if I start, I can't stop anymore. Oh, that's not that good. So. And yes, today I, you know, I, I work this night shift. So I'm just going to relax. That's why I did this video just to take care of, like, just do it because I wanted to do it. And otherwise I have night shift. So I don't have a lot planned, but tomorrow, tomorrow I have something really cool. Tomorrow, uh, so tonight is, yeah, tonight is my last, uh, you know, I'm so, I'm so confused every time I have night shift, I have no idea. But usually, usually um, this should be my last night shift. Yeah, it's my last night shift. And tomorrow at 11, I have an appointment for, do, for doing a hydrofacial. I did this on my birthday on the 31st of January. And now I thought now it's time to redo it. And I remember how incredible my skin was afterwards. Like the skin looks so flawless. Um, your, um, your lines are diminished, so you don't see them. And the face looks just stunning, like without makeup, it's incredible. So I can't wait to do it tomorrow. And then I thought if the weather is good, I'm just gonna go to Zurich, to the center, just to take the train and go there, maybe go a little bit, not to shop, but just check a little bit of stuff. I really wanna go to Chanel to see if they have the espadrillas that I really want for a very long time. So guys, uh, my camera died, so I'm just gonna do it on my phone because it makes no sense to do this without, um, because I just charging it and then it dies again and they charge it again. Makes no sense. Let's just do it on my phone. So I'm so sorry. Now I think the light is not that good. But yeah, uh, just keep doing like this. <laughs> so 
so let's do the eyes now. I think I want to do it a little bit closer. It works. No, like this. A bit more now. Um, yeah. So for the eyes, I'm just been loving the uh, Huda Beauty, the rose and gold palette. Looks like this. I love this palette so much. Look how beautiful it is. Like inside, you have a huge mirror that I'm just going to want to blind it with. But look at this color. So, um,. Let me just take my pencil so I see everything. Um, yeah, so I really want to go to uh, Zurich this weekend. And then, yeah, let's see. I really want to see what they have in Dior, what they have in Chanel because of these espadrillas. And, and yeah, just check around, have some inspiration. So I'm just going to... Mm, I'm just going to do this color right here, this one. And this one is the call sandalwood, the orange one. Exactly. And I'm just gonna go all the way into the lid like this, the crease I mean, into the crease. And again, same color, huh? No. And I do the same on the other eye. I'm by no means a makeup artist. I just do this. This is exactly my natural um, kind of makeup. What I do like every day for work. Some people would say it's not that natural, but this is exactly what I do before I go to work every day. Yeah. So now I have sandalwood everywhere, like on the crease. And I'm just gonna go in with the color Henna. This color right here, yeah, with the same brush. And I'm just gonna do again into the crease all around with circle of emotions. Yeah, I love uh, the Huda Beauty palettes. I think they are the most pigmented, good, like well blended eyeshadows. They are kind of really expensive if you think about it, but it's so worth it because the the quality is so, so good. Yeah, and then I'm gonna end with a bigger brush just to blend everything without product on. You see it? Yeah, and this is exactly what I do. And then for the lid, I try to use something that glitter a little bit. And my all time favorites are two of them. This moon dust, moon dust right here, and the other one is the rose and gold one. So I'm just gonna mix the two of them with the brush of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collection, and this one is the GH41. So I'm just gonna in with moon dust at first on the lid. You guys can see how pigmented it is, and I just did one layer. So I'm just gonna do this all over the lid just to have some dimension and also to have some kind of um, like open the eye a little bit more. I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. And I'm really messy. I'm not, I'm not like perfected or like this. I just do it really messy, but it, re it gets really, really cool afterwards. Oh, and then now I have moon dust all over and now I'm just gonna put rose gold on it the rose gold it's like I think it's my absolutely favorite so cool and then again so it's raining so much outside it's oh I can't deal with this. I really hope it's good weather tomorrow so I can go to uh, the city in Zurich, but yeah, let's see, I'm not that hopeful. Hmm. Look how beautiful, it looks like this. Perfect, that's it for now for the foundation. I'm just going to take off the powder and I'm just gonna use this one. This brush is so beautiful for that. And I'm just gonna press it in just to make the eye a little bit more awake. And this powder, it's like beautiful for the under eye area. And I just press it in. I don't brush it off, I just brush it in. So. So. 
so good. It makes such a smooth under eye. You know, I don't know if you guys can see it. So, perfect. Now let's do contouring and I don't wanna do cream contour today. I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna use the Marc Jacobs, the usual one, 102 Tantric. One of my favorite like bronzer. The problem is I broke this the mirror oh, and it's such a big mirror and I just broke it. So bad and this is the color so beautiful and of course you say I just had pen <laughs> soon I have to buy a new one but I'm really trying now to don't buy so much makeup because I'm a makeup junkie so I really try to use all my makeup right, right now so so this is the bronzer that I also use every single day and now let's check the, um, the blush. Oh, the blush is difficult today. I think I'm gonna go with the, with the peach color. And the one that I will use now is the Life is a Peach from L'Oreal. And it smells like peach. It's so good. Look how beautiful this color is. So beautiful in the pen. And it really smells like peach. It's so beautiful. I also do use this as an eyeshadow because it's so beautiful, like a bright peach color. And I, I, f I have the feeling that it's more pigmented on the eyelid than on the cheeks. But now you certainly can see that. Yeah, perfect like this. And then I'm just gonna go in with the highlighter and this is my favorite highlighting brush from Morphe. This one is the GH09, also from the Jaclyn Hill Connection. And one of my favorite um, highlights is the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So Hollywood it calls. And I smashed it, like I smashed it. It fell down once and it's just broke, but it's the most beautiful like row, like gold, kind of color, it's so beautiful. And I think this one was the favorite highlight of um, Amrezi before she um, did her own collaboration with, um, with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like you don't need much, look at the highlight. It's incredible. Um, and then I do it on the bridge of my nose. If I found the brush, here it is. It's so good, this highlight. And a little bit of the cubits, bro. You see it? It's so good. Huh? It's incredible, the pigmentation of this. So now I did the face. I need uh, for the under eye also a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take uh, the color Henna and also a little bit of Cocoa, the dark brown, like chocolate brown one. And I'm just gonna mix the two of them and under the eye just to have a little bit of a darker color under my eyes. I love it a lot. So, this is it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just gonna go in with my setting, my setting spray. The setting spray that I've been using, it's of course the All Nighter from Urban Decay like an oldie but a goodie. And now, this is incredible, in Bali, I bought a fan, you know, for my, for setting the setting spray. And it's so cool, like it's amazing how, how good it is. I saw first Jacqueline Hill using it, and then I thought I have to buy for myself, and it really, really worked. Like it dry immediately. Okay, setting spray, and then we put this on three. When you start with a van, you can't stop any long. Like you can't stop anymore. Like it's so good. It really dries so fast. So perfect. It's so good. So inexpensive and it works so good. Yeah, so now we have the setting spray, we're done. Um, I think I'm just gonna put some lashes on. And the lashes that I've been using, like the old one, these are the one from Sozu, um, an exclusive design for, for uh, Primark. 
and it's like a collaboration with Sosu and let me see her name Susan Jackson and she, the the style that I've been using now a long time it's the one uh, holy and it's so good and it costs like five euros like it's incredible I'm just gonna put some mascara first and that's nothing impressive it's just a Givenchy one I don't even know what what this is called but it's the Givenchy Givon, ah, see, uh, exactly. Givenchy Noir Couture Mascara in black satin. And I'm just gonna put it like up and also down. So guys, let me know if you wanna see a Fashion Nova haul and also if um, you're interesting to know what I bought if I went to Zurich, if I find something. But I don't think I will find anything because I'm so sad to say, but Zurich usually doesn't have a lot of um, stuff. Like you have more experience in Milan to get your stuff than in Zurich because they don't have a they don't have a lot of uh, um, stuff. Like always, when you ask, it's everything already sold out. So that's a little bit sad. Mm -hmm. But let's see. So now I put the lashes on. This one is the style Holly from Sozu. And yeah, I like it so much. Now we put some um, hmm, lip liner. The one that I'm currently using are two of them. Strip down and spice. Now I'm gonna use strip down, I think. And this one is more like a brownish color. And it's a really good base for like actually any lipstick or liquid lipstick it's such a universal color like it works for any skin color and it's just so beautiful I'm just gonna overline my lips like this and I'm just gonna use oh this is difficult I think I use stripped from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is one of my favorite matte liquid lipsticks. So. So good, right? Just gonna wait a little bit to let it dry and then I'm just gonna put some Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. It's so good. Look how beautiful it is. So this is like the actual look that I always do like every day. This is me every day. <laughs> it's a little bit excessive, but this is how I do my makeup like every day. So I'm so happy you guys saw exactly what my favorite products are and yeah this is this so guys i hope you like this video click a thumbs up and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day okay bye